my name is Jacob uh, the son of Pajo, an international renowned coffin maker, uh, born and based in Accra. And we have been making these coffins uh, for the past uh, 43 years. You know, I, I got myself into this coffin in the year 2008 and graduated in 2016 and now a master coffin artist. Yeah. In Ghana, uh, these coffins are traditional. Uh, why? Because people have been buried in these coffins by the, the reason of their career, the symbols of their family, and what they are addicted to. So if someone is addicted to, uh, let's say, a cook, he or she may be buried in a cook coffin. You know, believing life still continues in the afterlife. So he or she continues you know, drinking coke in the afterlife. The royals are being buried in, in the lions, the eagles, uh, as, as a symbol of authority and dominion, you know. Whilst uh, the fishermen are being buried in a fish canoe, fishing nets, etc. Whilst the businessmen are, are being buried in, in a Porsche or an executive shoe. Yeah. But outside Ghana, uh, people use this as a piece of art whereby they displayed in their museums and galleries, you know, where people go move around and watch and see. In Ghana, everyone buys this coffin, either the, the rich or the poor. And, uh, you know, when, when let, 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 let me put it this way, when both of them, the rich and the poor, when both of them dies, it's the family that decide, you know, on, on the particular coffin, uh, the dead will be used, you know, to be buried. So the family comes together, they contribute money, and they come to us as an artist, and they say, no, we want to, we want to commission a piece of coffin uh, for our beloved you know, to travel to the afterlife. And in Ghana, death, death, and, and funerary are a celebration of life. You know, when you watch the Ghanaian culture, when someone dies and he's being carried by poor berries in this coffin, you know, they, they, they parade throughout the town, spinning the coffin, you know, to put a joy on, on the face of the dead, to travel to the afterlife. This coffin uh, came into existence in 1950. Before then, the royals or the chiefs are being carried in a palanquin, in symbols and shape, but people were being buried in, in a traditional coffin, in a normal coffin casket. So there was this old lady, a grandmother of uh, Kanekwe, who became the uh, originator of this whole thing. And by then, the Kotoka International Airport, that is the, the, the biggest airport in Accra or in Ghana, was under construction. And this old lady was learning to travel overseas. But she, she was not having the, the, the chance, and she passed away. So Kanukwe, who was a carpenter, got an idea from the palanquins. He said, no, let, let, let me make my grandmother a coffin in the shape of an airplane to travel to heaven. And when people saw that, you know, they got excited and they got interested. And from there, it became popular. A lot of people began to commission these pieces. Until 1989, when there was a very big show in Paris, the Magician de Latari in 1980 in Centre Pompidou. And these pieces were being exhibited over there and it got a very big audience. And the, 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 the collectors and the art dealers all over the world you know, got, got interested in, in buying a piece for their museums and galleries. Yeah. Un until, until 1960, where Pajo uh, got himself into this. But then he was 16 years old, and his, his mother has to send him to Kanekwe. Kanekwe was the uncle to Pajo, and Kanekwe was the uh, cousin to Pajo's mother. So Pajo began until 1972, and he got himself graduated. In 1977, he has to open his own workshop as a master coffin artist. And from there, he has been producing this coffin. We've, we've made a lot of sculptures and, and coffins, like the rhino, which Stefan Pages, a chameleon, Stefan Pages. We've, we've made a cobra coffin before. We've made a Mercedes Benz before. We've made a Porsche car before. We've made uh, a slave fort and castles. 
you know, for Jack Shanman Gallery in New York. We've made uh, baguettes, we've, ma ma we've made a mixer, we've made a Juno keyboard, Roland keyboard for Benny Blanco, yes, in, in, in Los Angeles. We've, we've, we've made a, a lot of different series of coffins, you know, a tiger, leopard, uh, mobile phones, uh, uh, sheep, you know, shells, and other stuff, you know. There is nothing we cannot do. Everything is possible for us. Unless, you just give us an image of what you want to do. We, we made a Canon camera, a Canon camera for a collector. We made a woman, you know, half naked, coffin. We, we've, we've made a man coffin, a man himself, a very giant, you know. So there's nothing at all we cannot do. Clients give us uh, an image of what the specific object they want us to do. And sometimes they don't have uh, the image, but they can give you a replica, a toy, for you to watch the details on it. Sometimes they have none. And we don't do drawing. You know, drawing with measurement, everything is in the mind. So if we, we, we want to carve something, maybe we get uh, a plywood, we do some, a little bit sketch, and at the sketch, we, we, we carve the pieces of wood, and, and, and we, 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 we began, you know, to, to make the coffin. The only thing you need to do is just have to have a focus on what the commission you are about to, to build. You know, and if you you have the uh, the focus when you come to the workshop, you just go straight to the wood, pick up your tools, and, and, and we don't use machinery. Oh, we are made uh, hand handmade tools, you know, to carve all these coffins. We, we must know the height, the height, and the the length and the width ma, ma, must consign. You know, they must be equal. You know, you. you it, it must not be in a wrong proportion, whereby the length and the height mm, doesn't match, you know, you won't get the ultra, you know, or the piece you want. And see, when, when you get the, the object, the object also determines the length, it determines the, the, the width, it determines the height, you know, so let's assume in the camera, the, the camera has a long length, but a, a small width and a bit height, you know, so when you, you, you are doing the measurement, you should know, no, it should be at this right proportion for you to get, you know, the right size. I, I learned this straight from my father in 2008. I learned it and I have to be under, under apprenticeship, you know, under apprenticeship. He, he, he taught me uh, moral details on how to make these coffins until 19, uh, 2016. Uh, we, whereby I was eight years of apprenticeship and from there I, I had to graduate and become a master artist, yeah. In 2017, uh, my father and I were in Los Angeles, we came to visit Stefan and in one of our conversations, Stefan said to me, Jacob, Apajo, you, you need to be, uh, start making uh, fabrics. And I said, wow, so when we returned to Ghana, you know, I, we, Put it into practice. I got some designers. I got some printers. I said, no, let's 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 start to make fabrics, you know, on screen printing, and we began them. Fop clients, you know, purchased them. They bought them. And 2019, uh, there was a, a guy uh, who is a designer of pajama in Korea, who contacted uh, Stefan for a project, and Stefan linked myself to him, and. He said, no, let's, let's make a pyjama. And now we're going to do that. So he has to take some of the details on my fabric, like the coffins, all the symbols in the pyjama. Since he produced pyjama, he has to take mine from the fabric and, and collaborate with his pyjama. And from there, we said, no, we need to launch this pyjama. And that is the reason why today this event is taking place. He has to launch the pyjama. Of the pieces and the title of the pajama is it, it's for dreamers we wear pajama to dream while we are asleep and we lie in a coffin to dream as we go to the uh, afterlife 
So it's about dream, you know, dream, you dream, yeah. We also on a project in Ghana. We are trying to build, and we've begun building an art gallery where we can show a lot of artworks uh, all over the world, and whereby we, we can also accommodate, you know, the public, students, you know, on how to make these coffins. They can come uh, and study for some few weeks, you know, try their hands with the working, their hand tools on how to make all these pieces. Yeah. Yeah.